to take some RAM, being one gigabyte sticks, and replace that in a PowerMac G5. And currently the, the RAM in there is 256, so I'm just going to show you a few ways to do that. First of all, I would strongly suggest you have this on some sort of desktop so you've got access to the actual RAM. It's quite an easy procedure. Uh, make sure all the cables are disconnected and you would take at the back of the computer this little lever, take the side out the plastic little cover here that just folds away at the bottom, there's three little lugs there and put that to one side the fan also slots in and out but be a bit careful uh, as you take this out just gently ease it but put your finger here and finger here and as it pops that's good so that's your three items now the RAM that's in here um, is in four different bays so each bay must have equal side of RAM so I'm going to put one gig in it, it, the bottom one here, I'm going to put one gig in at the top. So one thing to think about when you're changing the RAM is to think about the consequences. I've got 3.5 gig of RAM in here. I'm going to put 2 gig of RAM in, which will give me 5 gig, because I've got to take two, gig, two parts of RAM out, being 256, being 512, is what I'm going to lose by replacing that RAM. So just once again, when you all your bays are full, if you're going to upgrade your RAM, you can obviously take some out, and in a way, in effect, you're going to lose a little bit. So although I've got two gig of RAM, two sticks, I'm only going to go from 3.5, I'm only going to go to 5 gig. Anyway, we'll move on. Best way to replace this RAM is to actually put this on its side. So we've got the computer now on its side, so it's lying flat, and we're going to take out the RAM. You're going to put your finger on here, there's not a lot of light in there, so let me just see if I can help a little bit. The, um, the little black lug, you just push it like that, both ends, and th this area here, as it pushes down, both ends will push the ram up, and the ram is now being raised. So very carefully, I'm going to take out the RAM. There we go. Try not to touch the metal, hold it at the ends. And we've got a 256 megabyte uh, RAM in that bay. So I'm going to replace that with one gig. And they come in uh, little packets. I bought these, or a friend bought these off eBay for me. Uh, they came in at about £36 for two, being two gig. Oops. And taking it out very carefully. I'm going to put this over the cloth just in case it drops out. Right. Now, the, uh, the important thing to remember here this little slot, if you can see it there. There's a little slot. If I move it, it jumps over to this side. So when I go to put this back in, I must make sure that's lined up. So you can only put it in one way, really. If you put it in the other way, you'll quite likely break it. So when, when you go to put this back in, <laughs> you, put, you make sure these are wide open, these little lugs at each end. But you've got to push it down equal. And that's sometimes a bit difficult, sometimes quite easy. But when you push it, don't force, because that won't work at all. Now when that um, goes down properly, the little uh, lugs as I call them, that hold them in place, they actually clip back in. And it does require a little bit of force, but it's not so much force, it's technique. So you don't really want to hammer it home and push it in too hard. Now all that's left to do is to replace the other side of 256 megabytes 
because we've got to have equal amounts, remember. So just take that out. And that's a 256. So once again, got to make sure the little lug at both ends are going to go in, but you've got to make sure here this little slot is in the correct place. And this is a one gig stick, so here we go, last one. This is most probably the uh, time consuming part, quite honestly. Right, that's in place. And just gently push it in. Make sure those lugs are wide open when you do this. Just oh, it's quite a lot of pressure. There we go. That went in quite nicely. Right, that, that's it done and dusted. It's um, ready now to have it reassembled. As it's on its side, I'm just going to put it all in from here. Firstly, you take the fan. Th this is the part where the power is going to come in. And that's the part where it's all got to match up. So don't just slide it home and force it. Just be very gentle. Think about which way it's going to go. The top part go in here. And it goes. That's okay. Sitting correctly. Just going to take the pla plastic uh, shield here. That's in place. And we take the cover, pop it in, line it, press the clip at the back, and that, that that's it done. If you're unsure about how to replace RAM or still unsure, I'd most probably look at taking it to uh, somebody who's qualified or knowledgeable enough to know what to do. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to plug it all back in and check to see what's happening.